Unwanted compliments, a kiss, and a sexual fantasy. KPRC2 investigates uncovered claims of sexual harassment and retaliation in a story we first showed you last night. A former employee says that he complained, but it went nowhere. He says that's because of a cozy relationship between the accused and the city of Houston's airport system director. Now, investigator Mario Diaz is digging deeper into why experts and officials say the relationship is crossing professional boundaries. Cruzman and Diaz are very close. Yes. How close? Uh, intimately close. A relationship under scrutiny after claims of sexual harassment went unanswered by top Houston airport system leaders, according to a former employee. Do you at all have any supervision or provide any kind of authorization yeah, to Maricela Cruzman? You can put them in writing and send them to the PIO. Maricela Cruzman is a program director at the Houston Airport System. She's been described as a subordinate of the airport's director, Mario Diaz. We first exposed how both are at the center of a sexual harassment and retaliation complaint filed against them with the city's Office of Inspector General. Multiple sources, as well as the former employee who filed the complaint, say Cruzman and Diaz are in a romantic relationship. It's an open secret in city circles. I know who his partner is. I don't know, I don't know her name. Yeah. Spanish Sorry. woman, you've, yeah. you've seen her. Yes. KPRC2 investigates uncovered the intimate relationship is evident at the workplace. From business trips to parking spots, city leaders and experts in human resources management say when a boss and a subordinate are in a romantic relationship, it causes problems. They shouldn't be in a situation where you can approve or disprove stuff because again, there could be power or control in that regard. Six months after this picture was taken in March 2014, Cruzman landed did a job at the airport through a promotion approved by Diaz. Cruzman described as uniquely qualified to join the airport system. But three months later, records show Cruzman misled the city about having a college degree. Cruzman was out on paid leave for one day, but stayed on the job. I want to let you know how exciting we are to have you here. And helped create the airport's music program, Harmony in the Air. Maricela had bragged about the fact that she had significant influence over terms and conditions of anybody that worked in that department at the airport because of her relationship with Mario. Remember the former employee's accusations that Cruzman sexually harassed him? Days after a meeting was called to discuss the claims, city records show Cruzman was off on a business trip to Seattle to meet with an artist. Diaz signed off on his girlfriend's trip, totaling thousands of dollars. Should Mario Diaz in any way be signing off on her expenses? No, that's an easy one. I don't think that person should authorize anything from that direct report. Sources also say Cruzman orders employees around, telling them it's what Mario wants. At times, she even parks in the spot reserved for the airport's chief operating officer. That's her car right there. Miss Cruzman, Mario Diaz with Channel 2. Do you have a moment, please? Cruzman fled from our questions this morning. As for Diaz, he's walking too, but not talking. Do you at all have any supervision or provide any kind of authorization to Maricela Cruzman? You can put them in writing and send them to the PIO. We sent our questions in writing and never got an answer. The city's legal department stepped in, telling us we should consider the matter closed and move on. Diaz reports to Mayor Sylvester Turner. We asked his office for comment. They told us there is an ongoing investigation. Houston employment attorney Todd Slobin says Diaz and Cruzman are too close. Should careers cross paths between a director and another individual if they're in a close relationship? I don't think it's a good idea at all. Experts tell us it's never a good idea for a person in power to be in a relationship with a subordinate. They say the city needs an outside investigation of the sexual harassment and retaliation allegations. So, so the city's legal department tells you to move on. What else are they saying? Well, you know what, Chris and Christine, we've sent emails, several emails asking for answers to our questions. No one is addressing mm -hmm. them, giving us any type of answers, except this afternoon. 
the mayor's office once again confirming to us that this investigation is ongoing. We're going to continue to ask more questions and look to get back to everyone right. with those answers. Keep us posted. Mario Diaz. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. And just a reminder, if you have a story for KPRC to investigate, call their tip line at 713-223-TIPS or email investigates at kprc.com.